Well, guess who's back? And hey, tell a friend, because while some doubters believe the Bitcoin bull market is halfway over, the real ones are preparing for the greatest bull run in Bitcoin history. What is the potential max target for Bitcoin this cycle? Well, get ready, because apparently Bitcoin just flashed a signal that preceded nine months parabolic face melting action stay until the finish because even notorious bitcoin bear kameth palpatia he thinks we're going to 1.4 million and we have a lot of numbers in today that say well he's definitely on to something here we go the bitcoin versus m1 money supply chart let's take a look at that and Bitcoin just breached the resistance of the exponential moving average on the monthly. Now, why the voodoo? Well, this very same thing. It happened in the first months of 2017 before Bitcoin printed gains of more than 2,600%. In less than a year, quote, you're looking at the first breakout of Bitcoin against M1 money supply since March 2017 when it went historically parabolic for nine months. Now, is this going to be the biggest bull run in Bitcoin history? Well, I think it's pretty obvious at this point. Have you seen the amount of accumulation already from the ETFs? Plebs better hurry up because Bitcoin balances on exchanges, well, they're at five-year lows. Major outflows from Binance and Coinbase have left balances on exchanges below 2.3 million BTC. And all those coins coming off exchanges, well, that is an indication of long-term holding strategy. A historic move for Bitcoin is imminent. Now, we're going to build off earlier. It is highly likely this coming breakout will be one of the parabolic nature. Now back to that textbook breakout against M1. According to TechDev, the breakout suggests that Bitcoin will ignite a parabolic surge and end this cycle with a blow-off top, similar to what happened during the 2017, 2015, and 2013 bull markets. Bitcoin has only seen blow-off tops after breakouts against M1 money supply. And this is what's interesting. And the longer it's consolidated, the longer it crabs, the longer the bull run. And this breakout is following the longest consolidation yet. Quote, it represents a textbook breakout of a five-year broadening wedge. The last five years have been corrective against M1. Bitcoin is once again impulsive against it for the first time since 2017. And ending here, we've never seen a Bitcoin breakout like this one. You know, I think everyone is realizing there is no second best. The corn refuses to lose. And look at this. Over any four-year period, you choose. This combination of 98% cash, 2% Bitcoin, just that obliterated the performance of the world's number one performance metric, the S&P 500. And with 14 times less volatility, throw those stocks in la basura. And check this out from the legend, Preston Pish. So listen to these two different portfolios. Portfolio one is a 2% allocation to Bitcoin, 98% cash. And you compare it to 100% allocation, the second portfolio would be 100% allocation to the S&P 500. Your performance is better with the 2% Bitcoin allocation. Over, you can pick the four-year period of time. It doesn't matter if you pick a top and you go back four years or you pick a bottom and you go back four years or somewhere in between. You can pick any four-year period you want in Bitcoin's history, okay? And compare that to a four-year period in the S&P 500. The performance is going to be higher, around 50 to 80% annualized compound annual growth rate with a 2%. And your volatility is only 1.4% annualized. It's similar to the S&P 500. You're about a 50% annualized performance with the S&P, 100% well, in the S&P 500. But your annual volatility is 20%, which is 14 times higher than a 2% allocation in Bitcoin. Are you smashed by and stupid hard right now? Well, good, because Peter Brandt has Bitcoin heading between 130 and 150 k by September 2025. I think that's pretty bearish, and his model is about to be destroyed. But we've got more bullish developments from down under. Australia's first Bitcoin ETF. It begins trading tomorrow. Don't be a wanker. Grab your wallabies and front run the global FOMO phase. Please do it for the love of God. Don't get debased. Those numbers are pretty bullish, but the bullish news of the day, well, that's going to come from the notorious bear, Kameth Palpatia. He did an in-depth analysis going through past cycles and discovered, well, $1.4 million Bitcoin is in play. You're going to love this, but before we roll it, let's take a quick second to recognize our sponsors, the Bitcoin way, because getting your Bitcoin off exchanges, and you're going to want to do it before Australia and Larry Fink and the crony gang stack all the corn and price plebs out of the market. That is Max Payne theory. But also, if you're looking how to Bitcoin, well, they got you covered. Bringing over 25 years of experience in cybersecurity, the Bitcoin way is your IT team in the Bitcoin world. 
They'll help take you from that why Bitcoin to the how Bitcoin. From setting up your first wallet and node all the way up to inheritance planning, accepting Bitcoin payments for your business. They cover all aspects of Bitcoin security and privacy. They even work with their clients to configure routers, devices, and networks for everything in Bitcoin sovereignty and privacy related. They are your go-to source. Oh, bullish compression. Don't know what it means, but I'm aroused. Easy, metaphorically, bullishly, this is a family show. And I am not alone. Strap in and get ready for seven-figure Bitcoin, says Kameth. And here's why. So here's a little Bitcoin price analysis for you guys. So there's been a couple of halving cycles. Within six months to a year and 18 months of these things, there are these crazy price appreciation cycles. 18 months after the first halving, the Bitcoin price returned 45x. After the second halving, it returned almost 28x. And after this third, having, it returned almost an 8x. Theoretically, if history is a guide, we should see some price appreciation. And so if you apply the averages, and again, these are just averages, they're by no means predictions. We took these and we applied it to the price of Bitcoin. And if you go to the next page, you start to see what could happen if you just take the average of the last few cycles. So because the first cycle was so extreme and you start to- Oh, apply so you're just doing cycle two and three here to be clear. Just the averages of cycle two and three. And what you yeah. start to see is some really meaningful appreciation. There are a lot of countries that will never look at Bitcoin credibly, even if they support it. The US may be one of those, but there's an increasing body of countries that will become dual currency. And they will look at their local currency, and then they will look at Bitcoin. And they will say, hmm. both of these two things are needed. One, when you're transacting on a daily basis for random goods and services. And two, when you need to buy a permanent asset that needs to have residual value, you'll use something like BTC. And I think that's a very powerful concept. And if you look at what this price chart could indicate is that if this thing starts to get to these levels of appreciation, it is going yeah. to completely replace gold and start to become something that has transactional utility for hard assets. It's hilarious because this man was calling for 3K doom hopium in 2022. If you look at that chart, what it really tells you is that the baseline price of Bitcoin, you know, where rational supply and demand were meeting each other before all these, you know, five, 10,000. 3,500 to 5,000. Yeah, I would say about 5,000. That's 5, still 75% like for me. Fool this man! No! Fiat Maxi is calling for $1.4 million Bitcoin and you're still bearish? You've been huffing glue? Get off the sauce! Any rational human knows we're going to the moon, even the shitcoining Fiat bears, while they're folding. Hey, it was inevitable. That's right, steady lads, get those sats frosty, mine Fiat, stack sats, kick back and go in a leisurely drive. Do what you want, maximize yourself, and let the corn do the rest. Like this guy. This guy's got it all figured out. So bullish. I hope you guys like this one. Got more coming this week. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Stay tuned and don't miss the number one live daily Bitcoin only news show on YouTube. Simply Bitcoin Live coming at you Monday through Friday. Hey, you looking to stay up to date with all the latest breaking Bitcoin news? Well, then you should be following Simply Bitcoin on X. Like, subscribe, set those notifications, share the sound money gospel. Give us a pap. Oh, we're knock, knock, knocking on Satoshi's door. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Peace. If you prefer to go down with the ship, fuck you.